you are not able to hear my voice, just at least ping me in go to meeting. Okay, so in chat you can ping me so that I can immediately refer that. Okay, so fine. Uh, today, yesterday we were discussing about our data sets. Okay, so first let me recap about the data sets. Yesterday we are we were discussing about uh, data sets. Okay, so we have a two type of data sets. One is non wisdom data sets, and another one is wisdom data sets. Okay. So data set is uh, non -data, non wisdom data sets. We can categorize into two. One is PS file or sequential file or plot file. Uh, both are uh, the the mean. Okay, these are all you can say alias name or other names. PS file or plot file or sequential both are same. I mean three are same. Then PDS partition data set which contain members which contains members. You can say you can say uh, uh, again. Uh, a group of members. So these are data sets are KSDS, ESDS, RRDS, LDS. Okay, and we uh, we were discussing about the differences between uh, non visam and visam. Okay, so today what we are going to do, we are going to discuss about how you can create a PS file. Okay, so before that, I will explain you how to log on to mainframe, how your mainframe screen look likes. Okay. So I will be explaining some more other uh, terminologies in mainframe. There is another term called emulator. Okay, there is another terminology called emulator. Okay, there is other uh, other concept called subsystem. What is subsystem? What is emulator? Okay, so so emulator is a special software. Emulator is a special software. It is uh, uh, using that emulator we can connect to mainframe system. From any location. Okay, I hope you understood the statement. What I am trying to say. Again, I am repeating here. Uh, emulator is a software which is used to uh, which is used to uh, connect to. If you want to connect to mainframe system, we use emulator. For example, our mainframe system is located in US or UK or somewhere. But you are from India. But you are from uh, you are working on Windows operating system. Now you want to connect mainframe system. How how do you connect? So there are different softwares are there. Okay, there are different uh, emulators are there. These are all third party free trial versions are there. Mocha Soft is there. Okay, Vista TN3270. Okay, so like that you can get okay more than ten emulators are there. Okay, so all are there are few free uh, Vista is there. Then Freecom. Okay, so these are all the emulators. You can install any of the software from Google. And you install it. Then, if you know IP address, IP address of the mainframe system, okay, I will tell you all the procedure. Okay, so I hope you understood right. What is emulator? Why emulator is required? So, why the important uh, things are here? If you want to uh, connect to mainframe system, first you have to install one emulator in it, uh, emulator in your system. Then, so while you are uh, while you are connecting, you should have internet facility. Then only you. Been able to connect mainframe system, okay. So that is the first point. So one is you have to download emulator. Then you have to make sure all the credentials should be there with you, okay. Like IP address of the mainframe system, not your uh, system IP address. Mainframe system IP address, mainframe uh, which user ID you are using for login and password. So we need all these details. When you know all these details, then you can able to connect it. I hope you got it right. So mainframe IP address. Then mainframe ID, then then initial password. Then you can able to reset it. So if you know all these three, then you can able to connect it. I hope you understood. Yes, sir. We can understand. Yeah. So already I downloaded Motasap from Google. You can try later. Uh, you can try later. I will help you uh, after end after end of the session. Okay. So someone wants uh, someone uh, wants mainframe ID. I think I think you requested something, right? So whoever requested, I will guide them later. Okay. For others also, I will guide them. Anyhow, you know, they are they are not going to install it, right? That's why I said that point. Fine. So this is about uh, emulator. How do you install uh, all the stuff? Next, uh, once you uh, log in, when once you install, you will get like this icon. Double click on this. Okay. This is a trial version. To click on that, okay. So, as I said, it is a trial version. 
uh, evaluation for day 30. So you try continue trial, click on continue trial. So double two, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero. So you enter whatever number it is appearing in the temporary key. Click on OK. So Ram, how you didn't provide IP address? You may ask Ram where you did where, where you did provide uh, provide mainframe IP uh, sorry mainframe IP address. See already I configured that's why it is not asking me. While you're doing first time, it will ask you. You can see when I go file here, file edit new session. This is the IP address. Hi, this is the mainframe IP address. This is the name. You can give any name as your user defined. Mainframe IP address, which is given by uh, other uh, server team, mainframe server team. Port number. This is a port number. Then these are all the details. You got it right? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is about how you connect it. Okay. So you have, again, I'm repeating. You have to install the. You have to install the Mozasoft. When you click on Mozasoft uh, executable file. It will ask you initially. It will ask you mainframe IP address. Then <coughs> it will ask you port number. Okay. So I will provide you. I will help you later. Point. Okay. I mean later after this session, I will help you. Who want to install? Okay. So this is about that. Is it fine as of now? Yes, sir. It is fine. Yeah. So next one is that. What is subsystem? That we'll see later. Later I will explain. Yeah. First, I'll explain how you connect mainframe. So now, what we did, we connected it. So we connected mainframe system. Okay. So we connected mainframe system. How to log on? So there are different ways to log on to the mainframe. You can type L. So uh, it's not a case sensitive L, or I can type log on. Okay. Uh, our mainframe ID, I think this is a mainframe ID. M A T E R A. Okay. M A T E R A. Enter. Okay. So initial password they have given something. Uh, I entered the initial password. Whatever they have in, uh, given, hit the enter. Uh, okay. If you want to reset the password, that can be done. Hit the enter. You understood how to connect to maintenance system? Yeah. For now, yes. Okay, there are. Uh, I think there are. There is slight delay will be there on the uh, display screening. I will fix that problem also within a couple of days. By end of this week, I will fix that issue also. Okay. Okay. So this is about how you can connect it. Now, how to log out? Okay. So I hope you are able to see ISPF primary option menu, right? Yes. This is the. Now, how you go back? How do you? Uh, I mean, you want to come out of this system. You want to log out. If you want to log out, you type equal x. Equal x is nothing but closing the current screen. Are you able to see equal x symbol? I have typed. Yes, sir. We can see. Okay. So you type equal x. I will tell you what is equal x and all the stuff. Don't worry. I will repeat again and again. So each command I'll explain more than three times. Why? Because if you miss somewhere, you are getting another way. So equal x. Then it will come ready, okay. So there is a ready option will come there. You have to type log off. I hope you are able to see. Yes. Okay. So type log off. Hit the enter. So you logged off. I mean we disconnected properly. Okay. So this is about how you connect and how you disconnect. So one more point you have to remember: if you have not disconnected properly, then you cannot able to log in. Uh, for five minutes. You got my point. Uh, this was, and that is, once you connect, and you didn't close properly, in that case, you may not able to log in. In a, you can open another Microsoft application, then you are trying to connect with the same user ID. So it will not allow you. So what is the logic here? What is the logic behind that? One user, I have. There is a user ID called M A T E R A. Yeah, that using that user ID, one user can log in only at a time. One user can log in at a time. So I am I logged in it. So you are trying to log in with the same ID at the same time from different locations. That is not possible. Okay, this is a this condition is apply on all mainframe servers. 
once you log in with one uh, main frame id other the same user cannot log in with the uh, other user cannot log in with the same main frame id you got it right so yes, now again yeah again i am repeating log on you have to type log on e uh, sorry m a t e r a okay i think this is the main frame id yeah mm -hmm. so m a t r hit the enter it will ask you the password okay so on this screen you can see the password uh, i am typing uh, old password you want to reset it if you want to reset place the cursor at new password field my cursor is new password field are you able to see now yes sir okay so the length of, uh, the maximum length of the password is eight characters make sure the maximum length of the password eight characters then it is a combination of uh, characters and digit some special characters are there i will tell you what are the special characters okay so i am changing password did okay so if you hit the enter again it will ask you for the confirmation i hope you are able to see re enter the new password in the new password field yes yes okay uh, again i am typing new password retyping done so okay click on enter so this is about how you can connect it how you can connect to main screen screen done now this is uh, if i hope you are able to see the screen this is called isp of primary option menu okay so this is isp of primary option menu from today we are going to work with this screens only okay so this is a primary option menu whatever you type uh, here whereas i highlighted whatever you type that is called command line commands command line commands whatever we type those are called command line commands are options of the screen it can be options options means this options okay so options can be this options or you can type some commands also so you can type here either commands or options i hope you got it yes yes okay okay next you can see uh, yeah. this here user id with user id you logged in what time you logged in what is the terminal id how many screens are there only one screen you can see application id uh, there is other details also there okay system id uh, isp of panel this is called isp of panels okay so these are all called isp of panels isp of stands for interactive system productivity facility okay isp of stands for interactive system productivity panels so there are isp of uh, scripting isp of uh, coding is there Uh, there are some scripting language you can say using isp of uh, parameters they have developed all these panels okay these panels we can say isp of panels next if you see what uh, if you, you can observe bottom of the screen there are function keys are there bottom of the screen function keys are there f1 for help f2 for split f3 for exit f4 for swap 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 F7 for backward, F8 for forward, F9 for uh, again they are used for swap. Okay, F10 for actions, F12 for cancel. So in mainframe, you will be using mostly function keys. We will be handling with the function keys. As of not, as of now, you may not have used uh, function keys, but now now onwards we will be using function keys more. Without function keys, we cannot navigate the screens. You got it right? Yes, sir. okay now so next one uh, as i said there is uh, what is the requirement is that first okay so i have to create a ps file how do you create the ps file okay create a one flat file insert about our details so okay, your name my name and all four our 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 training details will enter in the ps file how do you do that okay so how we can create and how you insert it so for that there is a option called three there is option called three utilities are you able to see yes sir yes okay so type three you have to type three option on command line command command line area hit the enter now you came to sub option of the utilities main menu 
you got it so now you can see the header utility selection panel okay so before we are in the parent uh, screen now we went we came to the sub shell sub uh, sorry sub screen you got it right yes sir yeah. so how you go back if you want to now from where you came if you want to go back press f3 so f3 always to go to the previous uh, uh, screen previous panel okay F3 means from where you came, you, you can go there itself. So again, again, I am typing 3, utilities, hit the enter. Now, can you tell me which option I need to select for creating a data set? Observe, I am giving clue only can first 4 options. Once more the audio, just, uh, excuse me, can I just repeat once more the audio uh, became uh, uh, inaudible for some time? Sorry? Can you just repeat for once again, sir? The audio became inaudible for some time. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm trying to say, you should pr now. I hope you are now you are able to see utility selection panel, right? Yes, sir. I can see. Now, when you press F3, it will go to the uh, ISP primary option menu. Why? Because before this screen, what it is there? ISP panel. Uh, I mean, ISP primary option menu. I am pressing F3. You have to press function key called F3 for going back. To the previous okay. screen. Okay. okay. Now you can see yes. the header of the screen is ISP of primary option menu. The header of the mm. screen is ISP of primary option menu. Then now you have to type three utilities, hit the enter. Sub option of the utilities, you will get it. Okay, when you hit the enter, once you hit the enter, sub option of the utility options, you will get it. Now so now can you tell me which option we need to select? Mm. The library. Uh, I have to create a data set. Uh, exactly. So, yeah. Right, right. So we have to select a two. Number two, then, okay. sir. So I will tell you about uh, uh, option two. We have to select it. Option two, we have to select. Yes, sir. Okay. So type two. Type two on command line. Hit the enter. Type two on command line. Hit the enter. Now. See here, this is again a data set utility. Okay, once you type two, you can able to create a new data set. You can able to rename the existing data set. You can able to delete it. And I will tell you what is catalog, uncatalog, uh, other rest of the details. As of now, you remember that. Okay, so I am writing in the notepad uh, how we came to the screen. Uh, once you log on, it will take to you ISP of primary option menu. There I typed the three. Correct, I typed 3, then after that I typed 2. I hope you remember this point, right? Yes, sir. So this is all the options we type. So once after typing 2, we hit the enter, it is, asked, it is showing some options, A for allocate, R for rename, D for delete, then you can able to catalog, you can able to uncatalog, U, you can able to get the short information, or I. Okay, I will talk about all these options later, okay? One by one, I'll come to, I'll explain. Now, so now which option I need to type on command line for creating a data set? So allocate first. A. Yes. We have to type A. Okay. So type A. You can type lowercase or uppercase. It doesn't matter. It will convert into the uppercase. Don't think we have to type always. Okay. As of now. You can type either in lower case or upper case. Okay, I will tell you where it is uh, where it is a case sensitive. Okay, now you yeah. type A, so which indicates you are trying to create a new data set. You have to place the cursor yet here. I hope you can able to see where is my cursor. Let me change the set. Yeah, fine. I hope you are able to see set cursor right. It is there yes, at the name field. Now. Yes, sir. So we have to provide the data set name, which is, we can say, folder name. We have to type the data set name. So I hope you remember that when you are creating a folder in one Windows, there are some setup rules are, setup of rules, setup rules are there. You cannot start with a special character. You cannot end with a special character. Some blah, blah, okay. Some conditions will be there. Similarly, while you are creating a data set, it can be PS file, it can be PDS file, or it can be non vizam file any type of file there are some rules are there total length of remember this point okay remember these are uh, rules uh, let me increase the font size 
yeah so uh, rules rules for data set now total length of the data set name should be 44 characters total length of the data set should be 44 characters okay then you can use in the data set name either characters or digits which is uh, 0 to 9 then there are a three national characters we can call as a, here in mainframe we can we can use three special characters those are we called as a national characters those are okay at the rate you can use at the rate or yash or you can use dollar these three special characters we will call as a national characters okay in the data set name you can use characters digits and national characters you got it right yes sir okay next sorry, your data you, set sorry, yeah yeah sorry. can you say the 44 character that it has to be exact 44 that or that's the maximum length that is a maximum length it can be minimum it can minimum eight characters also minimum eight okay Good. okay Thanks. in a minimum one also it doesn't okay it's, that depends on the how admin set it okay so maximum mm -hmm. in the data set name you should write only maximum 44 okay okay Got it. Okay, so your data set name, your data set name should uh, should start with character or national characters. Okay, but it indicates that you cannot start with uh, you cannot start with the digit. That is a rule. Okay, now according to these rules, can you say uh, M A T E R A a, B, C, uh, I'll type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is it valid? Do you feel it is valid? Mm. Sir, national characters are not there. We Should it be valid? It's, um, yeah, it is a valid. It doesn't, okay, it's not a mandatory to have always uh, special characters. Okay? okay, so that is just, you can include it. Yeah, so it is a invalid. Why it is invalid, I will tell you. According to your, according to my explanation, you give an answer. Uh, that is correct. So, but the thing is, uh, this is you can count it. How many characters are there in this? Uh, I think uh, six plus uh, six. Twelve. Twelve characters. Yes. Twelve characters, right? So the total yes. length is twelve characters are there. So while you are writing the data set name, you you cannot consecutively write eight characters more more than eight characters. You cannot write consecutively. You got it right. Yeah. Which mean, which means that again I'm repeating. So you cannot write data set name. The characters or digits are uh, national character. It should not be consecutive more than eight characters. Which means that you can see here till m a t e r a one two. I can write something here. Then I write something. Okay. Or else what I'll do. Let me let me let me give you some clarification here. P Q R S T. Okay, this is also fine. This is also valid data set name. I mean, you can use all only characters also. Okay. Now, if you see here, total uh, the length is I think 11 characters. Okay. So, M-A-T-E-R-A, -E then P-Q-R-S-T. Total 11 characters are there in the name. Now, what you can do, you have to split the entire name into the qualifiers. Okay. So, your data set name should be split into the qualifier. This is very important. Okay. Qualifier. What is the what are the rules? The quali maximum qualifier length is eight. It can be minimum one. The maximum length of the qualifier is eight characters. In the eight characters, you can include uh, eight in the, I mean, in the qualifier name. You can include characters or digit or national characters. Okay. So this is the rule. So maximum qualifier length is eight. Uh, and in the qualifier name, you can use characters or digit or national character. Now. If you see here, I am splitting the data set name into the qualifiers. Did you get it now? Now I hope you understood. You can understand yes, now. So what I did, yes, I have split the data set name into the qualifiers. How many qualifiers are there? Two qualifiers are there. You got it right? Yes. Sir. Uh, Nandini and Vishwas. Yes, sir. So okay. I have a question. Yes. Yeah, please. So every time when you split the qualifier, it should be uh, like a full stop. That
the that dot it should be a dot it should not be any other character other than well, that. yeah so you are the you have to split the qualifiers with only dot you cannot use any special characters apart from that okay. now okay. what how many now what is the total length of the data set dot also will be included within the count you got it, it right? sorry it will be 12 that, then yeah exactly okay now so this is example now i can write okay so m a t e r a 1 2 p p dot a dot uh, a b dot uh, i can say employee dot data so now how many qualifiers are there in this highlighted one three qualifiers are there yes three qualifiers three qualifiers are there always first level qualifier I mean first qualifier we will call as a high level qualifier okay first qualifier we will call as a high level qualifier last qualifier we will call as a low level qualifier I hope you got it yes. first qualifier here we will always will call as a high level qualifier last qualifier we will call as a low level qualifier I will tell you what is the use of these qualifiers later okay for timing you remember that you got it now so you write like that so M A T E R A A dot B dot C dot dollar something you can write it okay so in this la in this highlighted uh, name M A T E R A is a high level qualifier dollar is the low level qualifier okay so this is you cannot start with a data set name qualifier with a one okay one D is invalid you got it so it cannot end with a dot or it cannot start with the dot that is also you have to remember you cannot start with the data, you cannot start the data set name with a dot or you cannot end with the dot okay so these are all the rules now remember that always uh, in some in mainframe environment in some mainframe environments high level qualifier always should be mainframe id your mainframe id which user id you logged in with that only you have to create it but in some environments your high level qualifier can be anything which is you like which you want to give you got it the rule okay in some mainframe environment high level qualifier always should be your mainframe id so then only it will allow you to create but in some client uh, in some client environments in some mainframe environment high level qualifier may not be your mainframe id it can be other some, someone's mainframe id also okay that depends on how jvs admin I mean uh, who is a jvs admin who will take care of the control access and all they will set all the rules okay in uh, in this environment in this environment uh, uh, we have to yeah. so if it is ideal for some time okay it will automatically disconnect it why because they have to improve the performance of the system okay now okay so you got it right the rules of the data set yes sir now so I am typing options are utilities three utilities now which option I need to select the, the data set number two All right so select two option then a right so uh, I have written M A T E R A employee data I hope there are three qualifiers are there that which you can able to see correct yes sir yes now when you give data set name without single code I mean we can give like this okay so insert uh, when you insert the uh, first character will be pushed to right, right side okay it will be moved to right side if there is an insert button is there right on keyboard okay so if you now you can see in the here are you able to see insert here yeah yes sir. okay so when you place cursor in the data set name if I'm trying to insert it will not override the character it will push back it will push to right side or left right side I mean it's mm -hmm. same as a notepad only okay so why because in main friends initially you will surprise that how it is overwriting and all so you make sure how you have to enable insert or disable insert for overwriting the character you have to disable the insert option by typing insert if you type one more time it will allow you to insert character between the characters 
Okay, sir. Right, right. So now when I you say a uh, data set name within a single quote, when I type data set name within a single quote, okay, it will be created as it is. Okay, when you provide the data set name within a single quote, it will be created as it is. But when you trying to create a data set name without single quote, your, uh, your mainframe ID will be prefixed. Now I am hitting the enter. You see that? Are you able to see? Your mainframe ID again add prefixed or not? So this is the difference between single code and double code. Uh, sorry, without single code. When you give with a single code, as it is, it will be created. If you are not provided a single code, your mainframe ID will be prefixed as a high-level qualifier. Then rest of the data set will be uh, added, uh, uh, suffixed as it is. So this is the main difference between single code without single code. You got it right? Yes. Now I am pressing F3 if you want to go back. Again, type A. So I am providing within a single quote. Uh, insert single quote. Then I will provide. See what I will do. I will provide one mainframe ID is which is not valid. So it will, uh, will not allow you. Hit the enter. Uh, it will. Uh, yeah. So I will try to hit the enter. Oh, maybe it is there. I mean, normally it should not allow. Let me try. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. As I told you, right? So it sometimes it will allow you, sometimes it will not. That depends. That's why it gives in the starting of the session itself. Yeah, M A T E R A E M P. Now I am giving employee data. Hit the enter. Now we will talk about the parameters. So this screen is very very important for us. Okay, if you are able to understand all these uh, parameters, then your JCL is easy. Okay. So please try to understand. You can post uh, as many queries you have. Okay, why? Because this is very very uh, important. The same parameters we will be using, uh, Mr. Sayan. This these are all the very important. Okay, uh, okay you have sir. to note it. Particularly, you have to note it. For you, very yes, very sir. important. Okay. So yes. now, uh, if you see all these parameters, okay, these are all the these are all the parameter it describes about the data set. I mean what we did we mentioned the data set name so we have to create it so in mainframe what is the storage device dash d are you right am i right yes sir so dash d is the storage device okay so let me explain about one by one uh, parameter yeah so uh, here the first parameter i am going to explain on this screen is volume serial okay so i am going to uh, main volume serial what is the use of this volume serial parameter? Okay, volume serial is a parameter in uh, in the storage device. That is, you can say uh, uh, that is dash D. Okay, so we have a hard disk in Windows. Uh, I mean, in desktop or laptop. What we do? We will split it into the different uh, drives: C drive, D drive, F drive. Okay, in a C drive, we store uh, all the softwares. In D drive, personal details. E drive official details something like that so for uh, for our reference for easy for our reference or for our understanding we will split into the uh, different drives so whenever you want to uh, see the software the particular software is installed or not you can go directly to the you will go you will be going to the directory C folder C drive and you will be checking similarly in mainframe also uh, the storage device that is dash stick they will split into the different volumes Okay, they will split into the different volumes. I mean, for each memory area, for some, for a particular storage area, they will give a one volume number. So for the other particular um, uh, storage area, they will give another volume number. Okay, so that particular volume uh, area, they will be given to different users. Whoever creating, for example, I can say, uh, assume that there is a one particular uh, storage device, uh, dash D. So they created a V1, volume 1, they assume that they created a volume 2, so the total three volumes are there, okay. So now what they can do for particular user, user 1 for user 2, if user 1 creates or user 1 or user 1 or user 2 or user 3, if any of the users creating, they have to use volume 1 or for example if they have not provided any volume number, 
user 1 or user 2 or user 3 they have not provided any volume number so by default it will be created in this volume I hope you understood what I'm trying to say no sir can you just repeat once more yeah so volume number is nothing but in a storage device they will split it into the volumes okay so storage device they will split it to the volumes the particular volume area they will be allocating to the particular users set of users so those users who are creating for example as I said uh, there are three volumes are there in the dash D volume 1 volume 2 and volume 3 so what they can set all development team can people can have to use only volume 1 all testing team have to use only volume 2 all support team uh, training department team all the student 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 details students have to access only volume 3 I hope you understood now yes sir so this is you can say as a group in the group they will add again who are all uh, who are belonging to development that they will do it internally okay who are all belonging yes. to development user 1 user 2 like that okay for students also they will give create different students so S1 S2 so who are all belonging to students group so if S1 is creating some data set that will be created under V3 okay by default, by default it will yeah. take V3 as the default uh, location or the default volume whatever default volume so I have given I have taken V1 V2 V3 are examples but you have to yes, understand yes. the concept that's what is volume yes, how it will be uh, stored yes. Okay. If, if any student creates a database or if any student wants to access a volume, it will be stored under V3 only. Yes, you can provide explicitly someone's uh, volume, uh, volume also. It doesn't mean you always you have to provide your volume number only. That depends on the how they are restricted. Sometimes they will not allow you to create. Why? Because I faced in this uh, mainframe environment only where I am explaining now. Okay. Sometimes they will not allow you to provide other volume serial sometimes they will allow you to create provide other volume number volume serial number okay okay that is about yes. volume serial I hope Viswas and Nandani I hope you understood which is uh, <coughs> yeah next device type so device type is the parameter device is the device type is the parameter which indicates do you want to create do you want to store the data set do you want to store the data set either on tap or tape or dash D okay device type is the parameter it determines it indicates uh, on which on which storage device you want to store the data set okay so do you want to store either tape you want to store either on tape or dash D for each uh, for dash D there is a one symbol will be there this DA that will be set by S S Y S D A. it can be there for tape there is a one another uh, label will be there to mention okay if you want to mention for if you want to tell to the system you want to create a data set on tape for that there is another one value will be there something TAP some value will be there okay so something it will be there we have to provide that value if it is a tape uh, there is other value will be there so based on that value it determines it should store either on tape or dash T if you omit that if you omit that by default it will take I think dash T you got it right yes sir okay so this is about volume serial and a device type next okay next next is space units this is very important space units okay now how much space you have to allocate for this data set okay how much space you have to allocate for this data set let's assume that I am giving bytes okay did I so did I mention 100 bytes or 50 bytes no right just I am calculating I am allocating in the form of bytes space units is the parameter it indicates anyone logged in did you log in anyone no no sir mm. that cancel how come mm. Yeah, so three utilities, then two data set. Uh, yeah, so I am providing within a single code M A T E R A E M P. 
dot data one. Okay, or data training TRNG. Next, hit the enter. Okay, so I'm talking about this one. You are able to see allocate new data set screen, right? Yes. Maybe delay. Yeah, fine. So bytes. So if you observe here, I have not provided. I mean, I provided bytes. So, but I didn't mention we have to allocate 100 bytes or 200 bytes. How you determine how much space you are allocating for this data set based on this primary quantity and the secondary quantity parameters? Okay, based on the primary and secondary quantity. So when you say primary quantity 10, which indicates that initially I am allocating 10 bytes plus 10 and secondary quantity 10. So total we are allocating uh, 160 bytes we are allocating. For this data set on the AND storage device, we are allocating 160 bytes. I hope you didn't understand the formula. I will explain it. Okay. So when I say bytes and I mentioned primary quantity 10 and uh, primary quantity 10 and the secondary quantity is 10. So the formula is how many bytes, okay, I can say 10 plus 10, the secondary quantity into, if it is a PS file, the secondary quantity will be expanded 15 times. Now you understood, I think. Yes, sir. The physical sequential box, please. Right. So if it is a PS file, your secondary quantity, it will be expanded 15 times. So according to the values which I provided and according to the formula, 160 bytes will be allocated for this data set on storage device. So, so now in the 160 bytes you can insert in the data set. You got it right? Yes, sir. Uh, others, Viswas and Nandini, I hope you got it right. Yeah, understood. Okay, so this is about bytes. Now, so here, as you know that uh, by, you can give, if you want to allocate more size, okay, Bytes is 160. In real time, you might be storing millions of the records. Okay, so lakhs of records you are storing. So this space is not at, at all in the enough. So you can choose cylinder. One cylinder is equal to n number of box. There is a formula is there. One cylinder is equal to uh, particular uh, character group of uh, number of bytes. Even similarly, one track is equal to particular uh, couple of number of blocks, number of bytes. Something will be there. I will give you. Uh, one track is equal to how many characters? Nothing but how many bytes? One cylinder is equal to how many bytes? I will be giving that those details. Okay, yes, you got sir. it right. Yes. Sir. So yes. you can mention in the space parameter, you can mention blocks, tracks, cylinders, kilobyte, megabyte, or records. You can based on the size, how much size you want to allocate, you can do it. So primary quantity, secondary quantity. Okay. So when control will take the secondary quantity space, when the first quantity, when the primary quantity data it is utilized, automatically it will try to get the secondary quantity space. Okay. So we initially we are allocating 160 bytes only. When when the system will use the first 10 bytes, automatically it will go to the secondary quantity. It will start using secondary quantity space. Is it clear? Yes. Next sir. parameter. Directory block. Directory block is the parameter which indicates you are creating a sequential file or partition data set. If you mention zero, it indicates that you are trying to create a sequential file. You are trying to create a sequential file. Other than zero and the positive value, that indicates partition data set. I said, I mean, the day one I gave formula. I hope, I, I think you remembered. When I, yes. when I mentioned directory block equal one, one into or if I provide a directory block is 2. That indicates that the directory block into 6 minus 1. Okay, directory block is 2 into 6, 12 minus 1. 11 members, you can create it. How many members you can create in that particular data set? 11. If I provide 0, which will be created as a PS file. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Next, record format. So we have different types of record formats are there. Can Fixed. Just a minute. Can I just uh, repeat once? What is the actual definition of space units? It is the number, the space allocated for the data set of the entire program, sir. Uh, it is for data set. 
Okay. Just for data science, the number of bytes we are allocating. Exactly. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, one more question. Like, yeah, yeah, so please. When you create this data set, like uh, the 160 bytes will be created um, at the starting of the data set itself, or first the primary quantity, like primary memory will be created, and then whenever the data set needs more memory, the secondary quantity will come into picture. Yeah, that's what there is a right. that there is a difference between primary and secondary quantity, right? Exactly. First, it utilizes the primary quantity. When it, it when it utilizes, immediately it will occupy the secondary quantity space. I mean, first 20 bytes. First, it will occupy 10 bytes. Then okay. it will occupy the secondary quantity 10, 10, the, which is called 20, 11 to 20. So even the 20, the secondary quantity is also utilized. Then it will expand. It will expand okay. to 14 times. I mean, formula is 15 total. Okay, so okay. if the data set is not utilizing the maximum secondary space, the other space will be released. That's what you right, mean, right? Right, right, right. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, yeah. So next, uh, we have a different type of record formats are there. Fixed, fixed block, variable, variable block, and we have a U format. Uh, we have a record for you know, record format U. So I will type in here. Uh, later I will explain about the record formats. That I think tomorrow I'll explain that. Okay. So record formats are fixed block, or fixed variable. Uh, variable. Then we can say VBA. Uh, then we have another record format called U. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So these are all the record. Uh, these are all the record blocks. Okay, so if you want to, uh, I can see you. Okay, you know I'll show you tomorrow that the differences. Okay, so for time being, you provide a fixed block and you do that now. Uh, what is VBA, sir? VB is variable block. What is VBA? Uh, when you want to generate the reports, when you are generating the reports, we choose VBA format. We have here VBA something is there. Not sure, but. There is a if you want to generate the reports, okay. Uh, even in mainframes also, you generate by using uh, mainframe programs like COBOL program generate the reports. For that, you select yes. this format. Okay. So what is the full name, sir? Uh, VBA. I'll give you. I'll give you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I didn't remember, but I'll give you. Okay, no, no issues. Okay. Sir. Yeah. So now, uh, so here, let me log on. So you type logon or L space M A T G R A. L space uh, mainframe ID. Let me. L space M A T E R A. So let me close. I think I'm getting some issue. One zero nine three. L space M A T E R A. So three, you can type like this also. Are you able to see? Yeah. So three point two. So three means utilities. Two means uh, options allocate. It will take to you directly. So that way also. When you are expert, once you habituated with all the options, you can use like that only. You don't need to type three, hit the enter, two type, hit the enter like that. So M A T or employee data dot p s file. Okay. Hit the enter. Now, so we were uh, we are talking about the record now. So here, uh, 
I am talking about here. I want to store this data. Okay, so I want to store our our student our details. Okay, like number, I can say name, uh, name, address, uh, phone number, then salary, or you can say uh, phone number, mail ID. Now, I can say uh, only four details. Now, ten bytes. This is five bytes. Uh, name is twenty bytes. Address is uh, twenty bytes. Phone number is. 30 bytes. So now, what is the total length of this uh, record structure? 75. So total 75. So we have to provide 75 here. Record length. I mean, what is the total? I mean, what data you are going to store? Okay. So as someone yesterday also we discussed. Okay, we had some discussion uh, on this. So total 75. So you, already we know that this data we want to store. So you provide 75. then so block size this is also very important okay uh, why i am giving multiple of 10 why i am giving multiple of 10 uh, when i give multiple of 10 750 divided by 75 which is equal into 10 correct now so this uh, sorry come again on that sorry, yeah i am coming again on that yeah. yeah yeah so why i am given why i have given uh, mm -hmm. block size is multiple of 10 okay when you are retrieving the data from storage device assume that you stored 100 records and those record this file is there on storage device assume that this particular in this particular data set 100 records are there this data set is located on storage device you got it right as of now yeah yes now you are reading the data from you are you are you are you are written a one cobol program for reading the data from the file this file so while you are reading how many records you want to load into the memory same as uh, same as windows concept only how many records you want to load when you say read okay so if you give 75 and 75 each time it will be loaded only one record so I mean if 100 records are there you have to go to the storage device 100 times so oh. first okay you will go to the storage device then load into the memory then process on the memory data then again again control will come to the program they get it try to fetch the second record from storage device then it that record will be loaded into the memory you do process on the second record so there will be a network traffic will be there so there will be traffic will be there so what you do instead of that if you provide 750 so it's it which means 10 records once control is coming to the read automatically 10 records will be read those 10 records will be loaded in the memory they will process first 10 records then it will read the second set of records so that you can avoid so instead of going 100 times you are going only 10 times okay it's like a cache or a temporary memory right? exactly yes yes so so just you are reducing the net traffic that's all mm -hmm. now okay okay so if you omit the blank okay you have to press f8 and f7 yeah so here you have to press f7 now uh, f7 f8 function keys are there okay remember that there are f8 f7 f8 means you are going down pages you see plus minus are there here plus means you if you want to see the uh, next page the bottom page you press f8 f7 p f7 means top okay so as of now we discussed three function keys f3 f7 and f8 f8 yeah yes okay now if it is a ps file okay you are creating a ps file right then you provide zero here you provide zero then hmm. hit the enter that's all you know if it is if it is a ps file you no need to type data set type name is anything so you can mention here all options are there you can mention library hfs pds large and basic so we will be discussing about pds and a, a library later okay for timing remember that how you can create it hit the enter data set got allocated are you understood yes okay so this is about how you can create a data set okay so how do you go back again press f3 okay so press f3 so this is about how you can create it now Uh, is it clear as of now? Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Now we will discuss some more options here. Okay, so you can go to yeah. I'll I'll explain about how do you insert only right. So now I uh, want to modify. The, yeah. Uh, sir, uh, when I pressed F3, where has the data set been um, terminated or it is still existing? It will exist once you get the message as data set is saved. It will be there okay. permanently until unless if you delete. Okay. Okay. Sir. Once you get the message, it will be there. Or if I log out, it will be deleted. No, no. If it is lack of, if you know, it will be there. Once it is saved, once it got okay. created, it it will not delete anymore. Why? Because uh, until unless if you delete explicitly. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Now, now, I, I, we will create one more, uh, one PDS now. Okay. So three. Then you provide two, a, uh, two, allocate, hit the enter, a. I am providing m a t e r a e m p dot p d s. I am providing within a single quote. So this is also very important. Now hit the enter. So I want to create 18 members. Now what are the changes I have to do? And my total record length of the each record is 80. Can you please tell me? I, what is my requirement? Is that okay? Uh, I want to create 18 members in the PDS. Okay, I may create, but maximum, not I minimum. I I will create 18. Okay, uh, so that is a one. Or I can say maximum 18 members. I want to create. Uh, where I have to do changes and record length of the each record, each record, 80. So where I have to do changes? You got my question right? Yeah, the directory block. I think we need to mark as 16 or 18, as you told. No, no. See, no. So uh, mm -hmm. it should be uh, three means three into six, 18. 18 minus one, 17. So which All is right. not our answer for our that. So you have to mention four. Four into six, mm -hmm. 24 minus 23. So it can be I mean more than eight. I mean it should be like that. So you have to to calculate like that now. So 80. You have to mention 80, then 800. Type PDS. Enter. So the primary, secondary will be same, sir, right? The the ten you can, ten you have allocated. You can see how much data you want to allocate in future. Accordingly, how to provide the uh, primary quantity and secondary quantity. So we are we are doing demos. That's why I allocated a minimum minimal uh, space. I calculated minimal. I given minimum count minimum value. Less values have given. Sir, one more. Is there any relation between that record length, that is the total length of the record, and the space allocated? Yes, related relation will be there. Why? Because relation should be there. I will tell you why. Uh, there is you allocated something. You allocated hundred bytes. Okay. Your uh, yeah. what we did? We six, we allocated one sixty bytes. Did you have? Okay. Now yes. Your record your record length is eighty. Assume that. Yes. So R U U record length is 40. So so which indicates that each record length is one two three one mean first record length is 40. So you can able to accommodate it. Why? Because the first record length is 40. So 160 you allocated 40 utilized. Right. Then next yeah. record length second record 40. So my like that how many records you can store? Okay. Four. So, four. After that, okay. After that, if you are trying to insert, if you are trying to insert more data than specified space, you will get a size error. Okay. That is called SB thirty seven, or SD thirty seven, or SC thirty seven. There, these are all three called space append errors. You may face in future while you are doing Hanson. You don't need to worry about that. These three are special uh, space append errors. Okay. So in this, I have given a simple example. practically you will face like this you allocated some memory but you are trying to you are trying to store more data than specified space then you may face space append error you got it yes sir okay so this is yep. about okay now uh, i created pds also how do you go back press f3 now can you tell me which option we need to select For browsing the uh, which option we need to select uh, for listing the data set? I want to see whatever the data set we created. Yes, please, sir. 
Do you list is four. four yes. Yes. So, so type four. You type four. Hit the enter. Okay. Now, so you have to place the cursor here in the data set name. Do you know your mainframe ID? Ah, uh, sorry. You, do you know your data set name? If you know your data set name, straight away you can type uh, EMP dot data. Okay. Hit the enter. Yes. It is there. That's why it is showing. Hmm. Now, uh, I am not sure about my data set. Okay, whether it is there or not. I mean, I didn't remember. I didn't remember the data set name. So it is similar to in SQL. Uh, in SQL, like operator is there, right? Wild card. Similarly, there is star. Uh, sorry, sorry. Mm, no problem. Yeah. M A T E R A. Uh, one minute. Huh? Yeah. So when I type like this, what will happen? If you, if any main, if your data set is starting with the M A T E R A, it will list out all the data set. It is similar to percentage. Star is equivalent to percentage. You got it right? Yes, sir. It will list out all the data sets which are starting with the M A T E R A. Now, if I type E M P like this, it will list out all the data set. The first qualifier should be uh, M A T E R A dot E. So after e, n number of characters can be there, and uh, n number of characters can be there, n number of qualifiers can be there. You got it? I'm, I'm typing hitting yes. the enter. You are able to see two data sets. Yes, sir. So that something you can do like this also when you are not sure. I can type. Uh, I can type like this also. Okay. So e when I am not uh, sure second qualifier of the second character, then I type like this also. It is also possible. Okay. Okay, sir. So that means okay. we can uh, also search in uh, some characters in the middle of two uh, strings or in the middle of two characters, right? Like right, right, start. right. Yes, yes, okay. you can do that. Okay. So this yes. is about how you can create a file. Fine. Yeah. So now we are going to discuss some commands. As of now, I explained theory. I uh, mean, but to, now we'll discuss about commands. You people uh, who wants to know, that I will write here. I will write in here mm, commands. So these commands you have to type on command lines. Uh, we can say command line area. Uh, yeah. So first command is pf show on pf show off. Uh, I hope you are able to see right. Where which yes, are where I am yes. right notepad. Yes, sure. Now, are you able to see no, uh, function keys on the bottom of the screen? Yes. Yeah. Now, if you want to, if you don't want to see the function keys, pf show off. Hit the enter. Type pf show off at the enter. You cannot able to see function keys. Okay. If you want to see the function keys, pf show on. Pf show on and pf show off. Right. So this is next. Next one is zero. So zero it indicates settings. Okay. Zero indicates settings. If you type settings. Zero type settings. Uh, hit the enter. Now, if you want to bring the command line, now where is your command line? Top of the screen. Yes sir. Now, command line area is top of the screen. If you want to bring to the bottom, enable this option. Okay, slash, which indicates this command line will go to the bottom of the screen. Now it came bottom or not? Yes sir. Similarly, you can bring it to top also. Okay, so this is so this is another option. Okay, next uh, next command is keys. Okay, uh, keys is the uh, keys is the command keys is the command. It is used to change the function keys. Now when I press F3, if it is existing, if you want to uh, specify another, okay, you can see. If you want to uh, exit, okay. So I am typing exit. If you press F3. If you want to bring F5 also exit. That also can be done. So you type exit. 
if you want to make f5 functionality also as exit then i can do like this okay so this is for just our understanding okay uh, so i am typing these all ram these all changes happens only for the specific user who logged in or for all the users it will happen no no only for particular this user id so we have uh, this is a uh, changes will applicable for this user id only till uh, once you change it will be there permanently okay so that means if i log in with this uh, uh, means main frame on this particular uh, user id then i will also face the same changes you will get it reflected yeah you will getting those changes only okay okay sir. okay so and i i mentioned xt so that it will display as a xt xt hit the enter see the enter and press f3 you okay now are you able to see xt yes so in this way you can able to change it okay so after a few days I mean after 2 3 days you will be you will be uh, familiar with all these function keys then you can play with all these function keys settings and all okay for time being just understand the functionalities of the function keys okay yes sir so this is about keys okay so this is about keys command now uh we will discuss other commands later let me again how do you insert the data so we'll discuss how you can insert the data so 3 again 4 so when only 2 for allocating or renaming or deleting or cataloging so when you want when i say i have to edit it i want to check it so always option is 4 from utility selection panel so type 4 hit the enter you type your data set name enter okay i hope you are able to see two data sets correct yes sir now you can see right side of the call right side of the screen when now against the parameter there is volume number also is there if you have not provided by default it will be created and it will show you here for for example you while you are creating a data set you forget to mention volume number okay so it will take the default one then it will be allocate it will be created under that particular volume okay next okay so next options okay so here uh, whatever you type here whatever you type in this area where i highlighted now those that particular area are options we will call as a line command line okay i am typing in the notepad i am typing in the notepad so this is also very important line command line commands okay now ram i want to if you ask me a query ram how do i know uh, see we cannot say this is a ps file or pds based on the name i hope you agree with that okay based on the file name we cannot say that why because that is a user defined there is no standard or prefix all ps file should x i mean suffix with the ps all the pds file should suffix with the pds there is no standard something like that how do you know whether what is the what is the data type of the file what is the length of the file what is the size of the file who is the user okay all the things how you can get it you type i i means information uh, did you i hope you seen this option also somewhere i talked about that option right see somewhere i yeah here yes uh, isp of 3 2 then a is there r is there d is there d for delete c for catalog u for uncatalog si for show information i means information okay so similarly if you type i against the data set name okay mm. so this i is called as a command line area this is called oh, sorry line command okay so type i hit the enter you can see the data set information you are able to whatever the whatever the attributes we have given it is displaying or not you can see uh for wall device type it is saying taking 3390 next time onwards you provide this value you got it uh, sir now yes next time you can go okay. there we provide device type 3390 it will allow you if you want to specify explicitly okay okay okay, okay. yes yes so right. now you can see organization organization is a ps file which indicates it is a sequential file now press f3 okay i can type instead of i i can type yes also type yes hit the enter 
Uh, sorry, yeah. So I can go here. Uh, there, that is also correct. You will get the almost same information. Either yes or I. Type yes, hit the enter. Okay, you can see PO, which indicates partition data set. You can see here data set name type PDS. Okay, you got it right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is about how you can able to see that. Now, how you insert the data. Now, we created a file, a PS file for storing these details. Uh, according to this uh, various record structure, this one. Uh, number, name, address, and phone number. Let's assume that. Now, what I'll do, I will, we have to open a file in edit mode. E means edit, okay? E means edit. So place E at the enter. If it is a PS file, against that particular line command, you type E. E means edit. So we have, as of now, we have seen I, yes. Now we are going to discuss about E. Type E, hit the enter. The another screen will open. You no need to worry about, you no need to type anything. Type again, hit the enter. Reset it. R E C T. Okay? you type reset. So this RECT command will not work in uh, ISP or primary option menu. You got it right, what I'm trying to say? Yes. So whatever command line are there, all the command lines will not work on all the screens. Okay. So depend on the where you are and that option will work only on the particular screen. No. Now if I type so 3, it will not work, work right? The, so the reset option will work only on this uh, edit from uh, under edit, right? Uh, yeah, under edit or browse, or, I mean not browse, edit or view. <coughs> okay. It can be inside the PS file, inside, inside the member of the PDS. It can be anywhere. You can use it. Okay. Okay. So I hope you got it right. You cannot type 3 because there is no 3 option. 3 option is valid only another screen, not here. That's what I'm trying to say. Fine. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you insert it? Okay. Uh, now, now we, we will be discussing more commands, okay. Uh, next come to here. Uh, let me bring this one. Accordingly I have to insert. Uh, line commands, right? Now I will come to here. Yeah. So now if first one is CVLS, okay. CVLS will work only inside the member or PDS. You got it? either inside the PS file or member of the PDS. What is the use of COLS? COLS stands for columns. Are you able to see the column numbers? Yes, sir. Okay, so here plus indicates uh, 5, after plus 1 is there, which indicates 10, after 1 plus is there, 15, after 15, 20 something, 25, 30, 35, like that it is there. Mm -hmm. So this is very important in mainframe because while you are writing the COBOL program, there are some standards are there, okay. So COBOL is a structured language and even JCL is also is something uh, structured only. So it is not a free format language, nothing but you cannot write your own state, uh, keyword as wherever you want. There are some rules are there, we have to start from that particular column. There are rules are there, we have to follow that. So when we want to follow, we should know where we are. So for that time, this is very useful. Now, okay, so we discussed about columns. Now if you want to insert, place the cursor here. I hope, where is my cursor? I hope you understood, right? Yes, sir. Type I. Type I. Now, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our employee ID is, uh, number is 5. Then name will start, uh, I can say, Cyan. Now, so total I allocated for name 20, but I have given only 5. So rest of the, now third field where it will start? Uh, 4, 5 plus 20, 25, 26th column it should start. Yes, am I right? So we have to place like this. So I couldn't okay. get to, can you just repeat once this one? Why yeah. after 25? Why because? Uh, first five bytes, either you insert either five digit or not. Initially, you are occupying first five bytes for number. So I gave yes. zero zero one. Correct. Yes. Now, 
the next 20 bytes you are allocating for name but your name is only five characters so you cannot start third column from the next position of your name I mean what I'm trying to say you cannot start India address field after your name immediately because you allocated 20 bytes so we have to give that many spaces between uh, that particular position you got it right now yes yes sir. that means spaces also occupies positions here yeah yeah uh, space also it, it calculate in the length uh, before that you marked I on the left hand side on the right what, what you did after that sir we, did you press tab or enter hit the enter hit the enter after entering I yeah. and then enter and then enter the data okay yeah, so it will take to you the new line. There you can enter it, insert it. Oh, okay. So what I'm trying to say to all, so your now actually while you're inserting, first column should be number. Your second column, it's supposed to start uh, 20, uh, five, sixth column, it will start it. Okay, sixth column, your... Then third column, your third column is, it will start from 25th, 26th column. From 26th column, your third field will start. Okay, so 46th column, your address, phone number will start. Phone number will start from 46th column. You understood? I hope, guys, you understood, right? Yes, sir. So this is very important. Why? Because... Uh, uh, while we are discussing uh, about the data, so we have to insert manually. Now, okay, so hit the enter. That's all. Now, when you when you uh, insert first time, when you are, when you open in edit mode, when you do first time, always type save command. Save is the command line command. Okay, save, mm -hmm. hit the enter. First time only. So next time onwards, auto auto save. Okay. <laughs> and we don't need to define data type and all, right? So it's just the data that we are entering. Yes, and whatever allows... data you want. Right, right. Yeah, you are asking data type, right? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, it will take it will take any type of value in this PS mm -hmm. file while you are reading the data programmatically. That time it will check it. Okay. So inserting data in a PS file or member of the PDS file, Visam file whatever data you allocate it will take it but while you are processing the file in application program then you can do validations okay so the first five bytes should be employee number by mistake character is there you want to validate it so that can be possible in the application program or mm -hmm. with the help of some tools if you use some tools while you are inserting itself it may throw an error stating that this is the numeric data which you cannot enter character data so we are not using any tools. Why? Because since it is a first day session, so I cannot mm. introduce tools directly. So that can be possible with the help of tools. Uh, for your question, you can insert any type of data as of now. Okay. And uh, now. through the flat file also, say suppose I have a flat file, not in the mainframe, outside the mainframe. Uh -huh. um, is there a possibility that using the flat file, I can insert data into the PS? Just asking, you can show it later sometime. Is there a possibility that we can do that or we have to type the data manually all the time in PS? No, 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 we don't need manually. Who, manually we don't type at any cost. Just yeah. for practice purpose, we, we are discussing about the commands we are doing. Why? Because okay. in real time, uh, only for testing purpose, we insert manually. So mm -hmm. rest, of, uh, rest of the scenarios, we will get that data from the end users, our clients, our, or some other teams. I hope you got it right. Okay, so manually we rarely we insert we will insert it for debugging purpose for testing purpose only we create the test data. So rest uh, then other uh, other scenarios we don't do any manual. Okay, yeah. Next, how do you insert one more row? Okay, so again go I type I again here. I think you can able to see I you can type I anywhere under numbers. Okay, I can type I here also at one. Insert at the ender. It will take to you like that. So zero zero two. Okay. So Santosh, you type something then. So type spaces. Okay. So UK, like that. Then hit the enter. 
automatically saved. So you can press F3 after typing, go press F3. Your data will be there, okay, permanently. Now you want to edit it or you want to see the data. So you type E, enter. Mm. Again hit the enter. Now reset it. So why we use reset? The first two lines, uh, it is displaying. If you want to, if you don't want, you cancel it, reset. Okay, so you got it right. How do you insert it? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, now, so any queries you want to ask? Can we just copy the data from one row to another row in spite of typing just for creating uh, the test data? Done, done. That can be possible. Give me some time. Why? Because, uh, why? Because uh, that will be more advanced. It's not advanced, not advanced actually. Uh, later point, like after some time, we'll discuss about that. That that is there in the syllabus itself. I mean, huh, flow. Uh, why? Because mm -hmm. uh, for that, I have to create. I have to take another advanced option, not advanced, more options. Okay, uh, I have to explain some more. Then we'll discuss about that. You are asking me how do you copy only one row to another file? Yes, not to the same, same file actually. Yeah. Ah, that yeah, that is possible. I will explain you now only. That is okay. So I have a. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah, please say and ask them. Uh, so the question is, uh, whenever you, you press uh, insert and then uh, give the name like first one zero, zero 001 shan, then zero, zero 002 shantosh, so by default it is taking uh, the number 100 and 200 on the left, if those are IDs or something? This is just a row number and page number, okay? So we don't need to worry about that. It, how it is alternate, how it is changing, it doesn't matter for us. Okay, so later it is required for us, but for time being this is not required, which indicates page number, row number like that. Okay, I just want to uh, just uh, thing that if we can discuss it later. Just uh, why is it uh, 100 and 200 and not 1 and 2? Yes, it can, can be possible. It, it can be possible. Uh, you can do num off. You will get it. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, sir. Okay. There are some commands are there. Okay. So that's what. Now, now, uh, you want to insert uh, one record between Cyan and Santosh, okay? Mm -hmm. How do you insert? You place the cursor uh, after uh, on Cyan record. I insert it. It will take to you the after Cyan record, okay? Now I can type zero zero three, okay? Record. And then you type. Uh, Yes, yeah. That's all. So now hit the enter automatic auto save. Okay. So hit the enter, it will remove the line. You got it right? Yes. Now, uh, yeah. So you want to copy first line after Santosh record, last line. So what you do, that is called C, copy which line you want to copy after which line. C A, combination is C A. So copy the line, which line you want to copy after A. You got it, uh, uh, Vishal? So as yes, yes, understood. I did. Okay, so I copied. So now I want to move the record. Okay, M means move. Move means the original location data will be lost. I want to move the second record after as a last record. So I can do move, then uh, A. A means after. Okay, so these are all the line commands inside the PS file. These are all the line commands inside the PS. So let me write one by one. Okay, so what we discussed, I'll conclude. Mm. Uh, we discussed I insert. I can do I5, which indicates file lines you can able to insert. Copy after combination. Copy before can that is also possible. CC CC A that I'll explain now. Uh, move, uh, I can say A or B. So then M, M, A or B. A means after, B means before. M, 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 uh, A or B. You got it right, these commands? Any doubts in these commands? No, we'll do hands on and if we have problem, we'll come back. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. 
Okay. Next, uh, yeah. So next one is U uh, U C uppercase. Okay. U C C U C C. Uh, see, when I say uh, two characters repeatedly, that indicates a block of data. You are going to change it. Okay. U C means only single line. You are converting to the uppercase. If you see here, our data is in a upper lower case. Now you want to convert into the uppercase. So you want to convert the only first line, all the rows. If you want to convert only one row, that is first row, you place the cursor. You place the cursor uh, line command. You type U C. Mm. Are you able to see U C option? Then U means U yes, C means one row uppercase. Okay, I converted it. Okay, mm. so that is possible. Or I can say U C three. Okay, three lines we are converting it. So either you do the U C or U C three or U C C U C C. So I want to convert all the lines into the uppercase. What I can do? U C from which row I you want to convert till which row? There is no need of uh, under same. You like this also? You got it right? Mm. Yes. Yes. Enter. You can convert like this. Okay, so uppercase. You want to convert lowercase first two rows. I can type LC two. Okay, lowercase two. So that is possible. You see two or lowercase two. Done. Uh, LC, LC, LC two, three or LC, LCC, LCC. Done. Yes, sir. Now, so, so the next one is, you can exclude also. So I was for insert. What is I five? Uh, yeah. So I five means five blank lines directly. You will get it. You no need to type every time I. Okay. So I can type okay. something, one, two, three, four, five. So I no need to type highs again and again. I don't need to type I and insert it. You got it right now? Yes, sir. I got it. Save. Now, okay. Uh, now I want to bring one, the second row, where is one is there, right? I want to bring after last line, uh, before Reka. Before Reka, I want to bring. What I can do? If you want to move or copy, that depends. M space. You can do B. B means before Reka. Or else you can type after cyan. That also possible. Okay. So after A means after cyan or B means before Reka. Like this. So these okay. are all the line commands. Fine. Yes, sir. Fine. Now, yeah. So. I, I hope you observed something when I type. Uh, I am typing I. I am typing data in the lower case. It is keeping as it is. It is holding as it is. Am I right? If you enter yes. in the lower case, it is retaining as it is. I mean, it is not converting to the upper case. What you do? Place the cursor on the command line. You type caps on. You type caps on command. When you type caps on command. If it is in a lower case, if you type in the lower case also, it will be converted into the upper case after executing this command. <coughs> this, uh, this option is not applicable on existing data. This option is applicable on new data which you are going to enter. So when you type caps on, hit the enter. See, the rows which I entered, this will not impact because uh, now I've got this. Are, this is before executing. Now I am typing in the lower case. Okay, high heated render. It is converted to the upper case. You got it right? Yes, sir. So that is caps on command. Okay, so that is about caps on command. Next. So we discussed about caps on. Next. Uh, let me save. Uh, okay. What I will what will do so yeah so I am deleting all the lines okay you can give it give me one minute uh, I am typing some code cobol 
JCL, DB2, ISPF, TSO, yeah. So TSO, yeah. So now, so there are few models are there, right? So what I'm doing, Cobal, JCL. Now, uh, next command is that, okay, uh, wherever COBOL is there, to change it to CBL. You got it? Wherever COBOL is there, I mm. want to change it to CBL. How you do, mm. C space, uh, you want to change from COBOL to CBL. So C space, C means change, COBOL means which string you want to change, and CBL means you are going to change it to CBL, okay? So it will be changed only the first occurrence. Only this occurrence will be reflected. So when you want to change all the occurrences of the COBOL, you type all. Okay. When you type all, wherever COBOL is there, in all the locations, it will be changed to CBL. Hit the enter, it got changed. You can see the message, which row it got changed. This row got changed and this row got changed. Mm. Okay. So this is about how you can change it. When you press F12, those changes will not be saved permanently. Now, see here, I have changed it. Did I explicitly execute a save command? No, sir, go get you. Can I just repeat once? Yeah. No, yeah. Not. So, yeah. right, right. No problem. So, I am trying to explain uh, between the function key between F3 and F12. So there is a F3 function key called exit, F2, mm. F2 function key called cancel. Okay. Mm. So what I'm going to talk here, uh, when I press, uh, let me, let me, let me, let, yeah. Now, save, uh, what I did uh, in the PS file, there are three rows are there. Okay. Three rows are there. Okay. After that, I opened in a edit mode. You got it? Mm. Then I inserted yeah. a one row. So total will become four rows. When I press F3, okay, when I press F3, I can able to get, uh, if, if I press F3, again, if I open edit mode, I can able to see four rows. Mm. You understood the formula? Step by step I given. Yes, sir. Now, uh, here, again, same. PS file there, three rows are there. Then I opened a file in the edit mode. Then I uh, I have done some changes. I have done some I have done some changes in three rows. Okay. Yes. I press F12. Now, will it contain the uh, uh, ch the changes, or it will contain the initial rows? That is my question. So have I? We haven't saved it, right? Yes. Exactly. So see here. Uh, what I'm trying to say, okay, the difference between F3 and F2, when I press F3, it will save and it will quit. Okay, when I press F12, when I press F12, it will quit. Okay, so after last save, okay, so it will quit without savings. What I'm trying to say, F12 yes. means it will quit without savings, which means, okay, after before uh, after issuing uh, up late, like uh, okay fine that I'll explain you later the act practically you got it right now these two differences yes sir, yes, sir. this was yes yes I'm good now uh, if I press F12 you won't get you don't it will not save it I am pressing E see Cobal is there or not now what I'm doing now at least you understand at least this time. I saw COBOL 1, okay, I am saving, okay, issue save, okay, when I press F12, will I get COBOL, now I am pressing yes. F12, no, okay, I not. you saved already, I saved explicitly, right, so COBOL yes, 1 yes. will be there as it is, it will be there, now what I did, I mentioned here COBOL 2, when I press, hit the enter, I hit the enter, but I am pressing F12. Let's try to see. Then it will not be there. Yes. 
that is the main difference between uh, when you issue explicitly save and if you press F12, whatever the latest changes are there, when, I mean before executing the save command, whatever it is there, it will be there permanently. After la latest save, if you do any changes, it will not save when you press F12. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. Okay, so you got it right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So should I need, uh, can I continue or uh, shall we stop here? Uh, okay, so we'll stop here. Uh, I will consolidate the list again tomorrow. I will be explaining. We will be discussing tomorrow and day after tomorrow about TSYSP only. Uh, again, tomorrow also I have two days. It will take. Okay, so we will discuss a continuation part of this tomorrow and day after tomorrow. Fine. Okay, sir. So I think uh, <laughs> did you receive day one document? Yesterday's one. Yes, sir. I sent to Santosh. Uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fine. So I'll be sharing, as I said, I will be sharing uh, documents which we needed uh, the related to this session. Okay. So please go through tips and all the stuff. Uh, if you have any queries, you can ask me. Okay. I'll be sending the document now only to Santosh. He will share with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay so till now I didn't get mail IDs. I cannot take from you directly. So I have to collect from him. Once I get it. Uh, from him, I will share directly, or else I'll be sharing with him. He will, he will share with you. Okay, after some time. Yeah. So, Chris, you want to first? Okay. I'm sorry. Say that again, Ram. Do you have any queries? Uh, not on this. I wanted to set up the mainframe ID and password. If Santosh can help, or you can help. Uh, I, I, they cannot help you. They cannot help you because they are not technical, right? So, I can help you. Uh, one thing, uh, can you please, uh, Nandini? Yes, sir. Uh, do you have any queries? Uh, um, if you don't have any queries, you can leave. You buy because I will talk with like, these two. Okay, I have a question. Like yep. you told, there is a copy and move command, right? So can I use this from one file to another file? Can I copy some certain set of data from one right. file and paste it yeah. into the? Yes, can be possible. That we'll see tomorrow. They are tomorrow. Okay. They, tomorrow we'll see that. Okay. Okay, sir. That's it. I don't have any other questions. Yeah, fine. So you can leave it. Okay. So why? Because you are uh, you you are not you, you don't want main permit, right? No, you I said don't as want. you said. Yes, yeah, fine. I no have. problem. You can leave it. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Thank you. So you can leave it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, Vishwas, can you please install uh, uh, Microsoft? So can I install too? Uh, Sayan, yeah, please. Yes, sir. I'm downloading, but that will be again a trial version, right? Just for a month. No problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Okay. So, which was I'm so making you as a presenter. Dot net or without dot net? Sorry? Which one should you download, with dot net or without dot net? Uh, not sure. You type, I'll just uh, search in Google, Mocha Software Mainframe uh, mainframe Emulator. You type Mainframe Emulator, then you can install right. it. So, not sure. Uh, this was I'm making as a presenter. Okay. Can I do? I, so that I can yes. observe it. Let me know when you can see my screen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I am able to see your screen. Okay, so I install that. Okay. Uh, continue try to find Microsoft. Yeah, it is there. Right. Good. Continue trial. That's it. So, shall I go to the connect? Uh, file. File, file, file. File, file is there, no? Mm -hmm. uh, to click edit. On, uh, yeah, okay. edit. Yeah. So, click on that. Let You can write or uh, name anything as you want, whatever you want. 
uh, you type IP address, I'm telling you. Okay. Uh, Cyan, you also note it, uh, IP address. Yes. So, do we have the uh, same IP or it will be different, like two, I, two user IDs are there or just one? Uh, for, uh, for, I mean, I don't know whether who requested for this ID. Uh, 10 dot, oh, sorry, 104 dot. 104.194.26.196 uh, yeah click on connect click on connect are you able to do okay no user id and password right uh, yeah, so I don't know who requested for main from ID. Uh, why because I Santosh. Santosh is there. Uh, Sayan, are you requested for main from ID or who requested among you? I want that. I requested. Then I can... I requested. Yeah, you type uh, user ID, please. I will yeah. tell you user ID. Uh, you type whatever I given, M A T E R A. Uh, password is ABC123. You change later, okay? ABC123. I have given like this. Okay. You can click connect. What happened? Yeah, I'm here, so. Good, good, nice. Yes. You are able to connect it. Make it, yeah. It is yes. it will be what? Log on. And just the ID I need to give, right? Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, and password, you will be using it for tomorrow also, or shall I, can I change the password? Uh, I'll be using that, okay. So only during session only. Okay. So you so reset I'll... it. You can keep as it is. Okay. Uh, if you face any any problem with if someone, if you feel that someone is using your ID, then you reset it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because this ID is exclusively for you. So or for me for demo <laughs> for giving demo. That's all. It's the enter. Sayed, are you fine? Are you able to install? Yes, I've installed, sir, but I haven't connected right now, still. Ah, uh, yeah, fine, no problem, why? Because you need main frame ID, right? So... Yes, sir. Uh, I'm so I think uh, it is fine for you, right? Yep. Uh, what do you want to change? You're changing something? <laughs> I'm trying to reduce the font size, it's too big. <laughs> uh, okay, you can, you can done, that's not a problem, you can do it. You have to habituate with this colors only. <laughs> yeah. So whenever you get a free time, you try to do hands-on so that it is easy for you the for the next sessions. How to log off? Just log off. Right? No, 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 equal x, equal x. All oh, right. Enter. See, I think you are using desktop, right? It seems. No, I'm using laptop. Okay. Are you? Do you have two keyboard? I mean, uh, two enter buttons on keyboard. I think. I have yes, two enters. Uh, so where characters are there, right? That enter, please enter it. If that is not working, press where and uh, numeric digit at a digit locations enter will be there, no? Now, yeah. no, no. Equal X. Type equal X. Yeah. It it enter. So if one enter is not working, you try another enter where uh, press three, where your cursor is there, right? Press three. Enter. Now hit the enter. You have to type another enter. Remember that, okay? <laughs> now you type log off. Why? Because that they have enabled only one uh, enter, one enter keyboard. On keyboard, 
they have enabled only one they are it is allowing only one enter it is not allowing another enter i think i don't know which is enabled for you yes that because that what one is still on dos <laughs> mm -hmm. if i change my password by chance i'll let you know okay yeah please so can no problem it. yeah yeah okay you, you remember those ip address and all okay yep i have that with me yeah fine okay. thank you so you can leave it so you can leave to from here you can leave uh, and uh, yeah please yeah. tell me okay we'll talk later nothing else yeah, i yeah. think i think will be important okay thanks i'll talk thank you thank you Ah, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me. So, any queries? Mm -hmm. Uh, sir, call is not yet right right now. So, uh, regarding I yes, we, what we talked earlier on that day, yesterday, sir. Yeah, can you call me on mobile? Uh, yes, sure, no issues. Uh, can you just tell me the number? Let uh, yeah, me log so, out. Oh, it, okay. It didn't provide. Okay, let me let me. Okay. Uh, uh santosh are you there santosh are you there uh sayed yes sir yeah so we will i will i'll ask him to connect uh, make a conference okay hmm or else you'll message to santosh he will respond okay we'll talk it now yes uh, can i can i means will i do it right now yeah you can do it no problem so shall we disconnect from here uh, we can discuss. So just if you can just tell me where, whether you can help or not, then ah, it is no problem. Yeah, yeah, but no problem. Yeah. So the thing is, I have seen the yeah. all the all the documents which you shared. Okay. Yes. So somehow basics only. Okay. Yes. So since it is a objective type, and as you know, it is very uh, some questions may we cannot perform hundred percent, but I can help you. But those are those are basics. Sometimes even uh, uh, as you know. Sometimes uh, anyone can do mistakes. So if you hundred percent, if you depend, then if after that if you not able to succeed, then you you will feel you will you will you will feel uh, unhappy. So I can tell you maximum I can help you. Okay, yes. those are basics. Okay, so those are basics. It's not at all uh, advanced. Only there are ten percent. They they are giving depth. Rest of the ninety percent is basics only. Yes, sir. See, sir. I, when, when, when we will sit for these examinations, uh, I will study myself. I promise to study the entire thing, and then we'll sit, we'll sit with you for the examination. But the thing is, there's those ten questions, about ten percent questions, which are tricky, as you are saying. That uh, especially the cylinder questions or the uh, uh, tricky questions, those are somewhat difficult for me. So if you can help on those or uh, while. They giving the examinations. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. That we can do. It. So that's what. Okay. So see, the yes, thing sir. is, I will try. See, so anyhow, you have to trust one person. Correct. So I can. Yes, sir. So that either me or someone. 